Frank Bauer was the name. Pleasure to meet you. Now, I'm a businessman, first off and first foremost. And I'm just trying to make sure I keep my business running as is. This is the way my character talks. He's different from uh, my other character. He's more of a social personality. And I'm trying to make sure I have my character down on raps, on the way he is, the way he behaves, and the way he talks. All this is very, very important stuff for a character like mine. Play the game like this is in six of six. Building a new Installing, updating, updating, installing. We're getting soon. How's Jack, guys? Good man, everybody welcome in. So. 
We are playing Frank Bauer. And it is a pleasure to have you all in here. It's going to be a real great time. Fuck yeah. Was done installing. Oh, I get to play the new game. So, we'll play for a couple hours tonight, and then I won't be on to next Friday. It's work and so on, but uh, I won't be working out of town all the time, so eventually I'll be able to you know, stream after work. Wait for a couple hours before going to bed. Hey, Salvador Garcia, what am I doing? Yeah, I played Foxel before. Uh, I remember I encountered you once and you were holding up and then abandoned. You're holding up and abandoned. Building. I searched your YouTube and Twitch and I have following you. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I like going on. I like going on to um, Foxel and being silly and playing a character and uh, trying to motivate people to make pushes and stuff. Makes a lot of fun. Time. Well, Salvador Garcia, welcome back, man. Got tons of content, tons of YouTube stuff, mostly roleplay focused. Uh, I like these skits and things as well. Might end up doing more skits down the road because I have a lot, a lot of fun. Try reconnecting. We. Now we're connected to this. I wonder what my delay is like on you. 
I heard it's about five minutes. I don't know if it's true or not, but hopefully it's not that long. I know there's a fairly good delay. Here. Go. Well, let's back. Let's get back in and play Frank Bauer. Pleasure to meet you. How's it going? I hope you are well, my friend. I hope you're well, my acquaintance. I think I was trying to put money in the big rocks they did. Ah, the game stole my money, man. That is not good. When the server was being DDoSed, I was, uh, it's gone. Salvi, how you doing? Welcome in. Salvi, are Hard on me, oh, sir. Pardon me. Hard on me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't see you coming through. Oh, sorry about that. And yeah, no worries. Yeah, it looks like I lost my money, unfortunately, when I, uh... Oh, it's, it has active. It has like a, it has 160 slots. It's got about 130 active lately when I've been playing. Um, server's been around for at least two years, I think. Maybe a little bit longer. I know they've been working on it for a while. I've been playing on it for at least uh, about a year now, I think.
This is uh, Frank Bauer. He runs the moving pictures. He's trying to be a, a famous filmmaker. Cinematograph. Cinemagraph. This right here is a cinemagraph. This allows me to take pictures and move. That's all I need to know about it. Ah, what was your name again, sir? I think I forgot. Was it Jeremiah? My name is Drake. Drake, that's right. Pleasure to see you again. How you doing? You too. How them moving pictures going? They're going well, but unfortunately the bank has misplaced my money I put in there the other day. Oh, well that ain't good at all. They said that their uh, fella who was working there was having a headache, maybe misplaced it. So about $80 is a lot of money for a man who just spent his wealth to get out of here and buy the equipment he has. That I think it's real unfortunate. But I'm Hopefully sure... They get that back to you. I hope they do, but I ain't none too keen to think they might, considering that when money's lost, people aren't too keen to find others' monies that has been lost. That's true. But uh, if you want to help me out, maybe go watch a movie tonight. I, I had to raise the price of $10 quite recently, unfortunately, considering that I'm not doing too well, and I'm not getting enough people to watch, but... Just how it is, business is slow, but that's what happens when you start a new business. It takes a while to build it up. It does, it does for sure. Let me find my boys and see if they want to join me. I might do that. I'll be right back. Well, that sounds good. I'll go out. Oh, what the hell, son? Oh, God damn you, son. Hey, look at that, two of us. Oh, 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 go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh, shit. I think you killed him. What the hell was that about? No, I, 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 I did it to my brother once. I made him go to sleep. God, my eye hurts. Why did he just come in and attack you? I have no idea. I have no I have no idea who this man is right here. Something about him didn't like me. Holy shit, that was crazy. The man just burst in the door and started punching. God damn, my eye. You okay, I'm fine. I've been hit hard by women. <laughs> oh, shit. I was not expecting this dirty son of a bitch come up. I was wondering what he's wanting. I thought he was going to ask me a question about the movies, the moving pictures. Well, let's get him out of here. Oh. I, I lose my money. Now some fella comes in here starting to fight. Unfortunate. This town is crazy. Yeah, he walked right past me and just, I don't know. Shit, that was crazy. A goal of some people. Maybe he didn't like the way I was dressed. Maybe he thought I was one of the fancy folk. I am fairly fancy, but not by much of a margin. Uh, Only in Valentine. Okay. Well, Drake, I appreciate you getting my back there. Oh, no problem. No problem at all. I enjoy a good strap every so often. A strap. I'm not much of a fighter myself, so I was caught off guard there. You saw me missing those punches, right? <laughs> I, I wasn't going to say nothing, but. <laughs> I'm trying to be an upsetting businessman. I'm not trying to get into these nasty sh brawls in a saloon, as you can understand. We're glad uh, security won here. Who knows what he would have done. I hear he's crazy. Well, maybe it might make a good story for a moving picture sometime. Oh, yeah. What'd you do with his body? Just threw it outside in the street. Where he belongs, rightfully. Oh, wait, there he is. 
took out the trash. Now listen, you're lucky I ain't gonna go to law about this. So you think about what she's done over there. Yeah, you sleep it off or something. Yeah, turn around and shame. Some bitch. Oh, he probably was just drunk. The way he's looking. Maybe he thought I was sleeping with his wife or something. Who knows? Are you? That's fuck. I, I, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> There's no, plenty of women who find themselves in my bed. <laughs> oh, oh, I damn. see how it is. Uh, what's your name, son, by the way? I don't, uh, I appreciate you disposing of the trash out back. You're welcome, fella. It's Grover. How about yourself? Uh, it's Frank Bauer. Nice to meet you, Grover. Now, if you ever want to find yourself in some relaxation, I do run the moving pictures down the road. Uh, Ten dollars per person. Find yourself there in the evenings and, uh, Relax, kick back, and maybe enjoy yourself with B.O. or watching. You know, I think I'll do that, fella. I'll come by one of these evenings. Well, every time the sun goes down, I make sure to play uh, a film or two on my cinematographer. I don't know what any of those words mean, but they sound cool, so I'll come check it out. It's understandable. It's, it's very new technology. Well, at least 15 years old now, but it is still growing in popularity. Invented in Paris, believe it or not. I don't like them French. Well, it's, trust me. They say, we, we. This is one of the feel good things they've done high. besides smelling up the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Did we lose Scout again? Yeah, I don't know where he is. Yeah, dang it. I got uh, interrupted by talking to the future mayor of Rhodes. That fellow who was on my horse. Oh, yeah, I want to get him on my payroll. Oh, we might be able to do that. Uh, Aqua Johnson, he said his name was? Yeah, we need to make that happen. I met him before. Uh, well, maybe we should find him. Follow me, gentlemen. I gotta go clean up after that fella roughed me up a bit. And uh, I'll You're see you, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I'll see you folks tonight. I'll make sure moving pictures are going, but I got some business to attend to. Hey, man, how you doing, man? It's good to be back, yeah. I uh, made a new character, uh, Frank Bauer. I'm enjoying him a lot. He's more social, more of a civilian. Uh, doesn't even own, doesn't even own a gun right now. Doesn't even have a horse. <laughs> Let's try to make a living. You still playing Caleb West? You got any new guys? If you want to start a new character that, you know, can get involved with this guy, it'd be fun to have, like, associates. I actually plan on uh, doing short films of this character, making them on YouTube, and then, like, seeing if there's a way for uh, the staff to be able to upload to the server the videos and add them to the playlists on the um, moving pictures thing. And I'm going to actually try to make a few. And if they can't upload it right away or do anything with that or mod it to do that, I'll at least have a link to it in the Discord saying, Have you seen the brand new film going around called, you know, playing the moving pictures right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm only able to play on weekends right now, so uh, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, and then I play as much as I can, but I also got a girlfriend now, so I got to you know, entertain here too. UK, hey, how you doing, man? It's good to see you. Yeah, it's uh, it's been it's been going good. My uh, my roommate's gonna uh, hopefully join me um, soon as well. He's gonna play the server. He's gonna try. Yeah, my Thank you, man. Appreciate it. No straw. Chicken nuggies.
How you doing? I'm gonna just gonna just sweep that mission right here. <laughs> While I eat. UK, I'm excited for that fucking role play game to come out, man. I really wanna do it. The um D and D. Kind of stacking right now, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to get my meal in before I get too into it. I'm gonna go read in a newspaper in a saloon. I can't wait for it to come out, you know? How about you? Uh, not too bad at all. Pardon me. Pardon me. Enjoying how you feel. It's rare. I'll tell you that much. It's certainly rare. Yeah, don't Nowadays. <laughs> What? They'll never take it away from me. <laughs> it even matches the vest. Exactly. I, I think y'all don't have a hat policy in that uniform. I hope not, because that'll be another fifty dollars down the drain. Anyways.
If you pay $150 to have the hat. Uh, Thank you, yeah, probably. Where the hell's Kello? I thought he said he'd be around. Why'd you hear that? Sorry, uh, didn't he mention it? I could have sworn he mentioned it. I could be going crazy. I think you're going crazy. Me too. Well, y'all want to talk in a little saloon? Sure. Oh, I'm supposed to uh, telegram that guy. Delicious. I am fed now, and I can get the RP. Yeah, new guy. Yep, Frank Brower. Pleasure to meet you, Frank Brower. Nice. So I'm not going to start doing the moving pictures right away. I want to build him up a, a bit first. I want him to get some money in his pocket, like a loan or something, to get into the movie making business. Moving pictures. Now I look forward to dazzling. And amazing with the wonders I have to show on this moving picture here is a cinematographer made and invented in French. France. This is gonna be it's been a fun country to play so far. The last few days of I played have been amazing. All right, let's go talk to some people. We need to socialize, advertise. Can we bother today? <clears throat> that pleasure will be mine. I'm rich. Filthy rich, hopefully. Sir?
How you doing there, sir? You mind if I have a moment of your time? It'll only take a few seconds, I swear. I'm sure you'll be interested in what I have to say to you. Now, I understand the cold shoulder. I, I get you, you're enjoying the smoke up here, so I'll, I'll leave it to it. This is a new character, Aaron. Yes, you agree. Myself, I have a, a moment of your time if you don't mind. Have you ever uh, seen a moving picture by a chance? No, I haven't. Well, this evening I am running a moving picture show over by the tents to the left of the stages or the uh, what's it called the uh, horse pins and so on. Uh, if you find yourself there, ten dollars per person, you can see a moving picture. It is a wonderful thing to see. If you've never seen one, you'll be awed uh, and amazed. I, I don't think I'll be able to catch it myself, but I can let the folks down in Blackwater know. All right, I appreciate that. Every every night when the sun goes down here, I play a moving picture. Ten dollars a All piece. Right. All right, I'll send them up here. I take care. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It doesn't make sense that you would put a note like that if you were not aware that people would show up to read it, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Like, I, I'm not going to go put a note in the middle of the forest because it's more than likely no one's going to see it. How are you Happy? folks doing this evening? Well, not bad at good. all. How about yourself? I'm doing well, just... Keeping myself busy, I figure I'd come on by here and conversate with Drake here as well. Uh, what's your name, sir, by the way? I, don't, I haven't met you uh, yet, but I've seen you around town. Yeah, Scout. Scout, nice to meet you. I'm Frank Brower. Oh, good to meet you. Mm -hmm. You hopefully you know the, uh, picture shows. Yes, sir, I do. I'm hopefully you'll see that it's not ten dollars for having oh, a show on right. when the sun goes down. Is it another scary one that Danny's gonna run out of? Maybe we might have to play that one uh, for him specifically next time. Maybe you might finish it. <laughs> right. I heard he uh, maybe have made a puddle on the ground. Well, I think he was. Well, I never checked. No wonder it smells like piss in there, I guess. Yeah, yeah that'll do it. That oh. will do it. Next time he pisses in my uh, theater there, I'll have to uh, charge him double next time. Yep. Yeah, you got to charge him a cleanup fee. Exactly. <laughs> Entry fee and a cleanup fee. I like it. Hopefully soon we'll have uh, nice big audiences and I can start uh, procuring myself a new uh, cinematography machine to start uh, recording new moving pictures and make my own Ooh. films on the big screen. That's what I want to get to doing. Because I only have six so far and they're hard as hell to get your hands on. You know, it was invented in France, the uh, machine I use. It is hard to get find people who have the skills to make the film I need. I can imagine. It all seems like magic to me, putting people up on a big screen like that. Well, it ain't magic. It's a social science. Somebody keeps saying it's going to steal their soul. Ain't true. It is science and not magic. Wait, now, this what machine if it does? steals your soul? No, no, it does not steal your soul. It is a... Uh, 
merely projects things it's seen by taking a copy of it through uh, burning fire against the, the, the film, I believe, and it creates an image, and it follows that image through a track. I, it might be going over your head, sir, because you you never seen the machine yourself, so, but it, it works. It works. You know, it's taking a copy of my soul. No, it ain't. Some voodoo magic ritual and fire and then projecting it. No, no. On it's the big screen. <sighs> Simply, it does not take your soul. It does copy the image of you, but it does not mean that is your soul in there. So it's copying my soul. It ain't copying your soul because it's, it's, it's just like, you know, when you see yourself in a puddle. It's kind of like that. Oh. Like a reflection. Exactly. All right. Huh. Best way to put it. Did y'all so. be up for doing that tonight? I'll, put, I'll cheat on me. Sure, why not? Now, if you have a lady friend as well, you might as well want to bring her, too. Women love moving pictures. <laughs> we ain't Scout got no has, ladies around here, fella. Scout does have lots of, of admirers. And lots of friends, not lady Oh, yeah, friends. Scout, he's so handsome. He's so pretty. No, he is incredibly you handsome. Bring mama. But no one tell him that. Oh, yeah. I, you should bring mama. I should slap you silly right here and now. Well, by the way, mama says she wants to perform in a, a pornographic film. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh boy. I'm gonna All go right. check for uh, guys in the saloon real quick. I'll be right back. All right. I said once I get the equipment, I I'm sure somebody would want to watch that, and I'll make her a star. <laughs> I bet he'd be in there back to back. Oh yeah. You never. You have to clean that theater every night because of him. Tell, tell her that you found uh, a male actor. Her, his name is Grover, and tell me what she says. <laughs> By the Stand way, back, I, I will that. need actors down the road while I make my films. I have this idea for one right now that I cannot wait to do. So, a dusty feather, a cowboy, went to his grave after sh drinking a dead man's drink because he killed him. The law got to him, so now he, he was murdered or hung for his crimes. But God and the devil cursed him to come back uh, from the grave uh, every other night to go and uh, drink someone down on the table, and if they lose, he drags them down to hell with him. And then eventually somebody will outdrink this dead cowboy and become the hero of the story and make the dead cowboy rest finally. Does that sound like a good one to you? Hmm. I don't think that one would be a very good film to make. Yeah, I'll watch it as long as I can. Uh, I'll, I'll act in it too if I can drink. Well, hell, you get to drink a lot. <laughs> well, it's about to get dark. I'm about to start the show up, so I'm going to do my rounds one more time and see if we get some more people to come by and pay for a movie. Because God oh, knows I need the money. Well, I appreciate it. See you there, Drake. Hello, miss. Can I have a moment of your time, if you wouldn't mind? I can help you carry that box if you'd like as well, wherever you need it to go. Something out of it. Uh, How can I help you? <laughs> I, I was letting her know that tonight we are playing a new moving picture in the tent over by the stables. Catch us up there. When the sun goes down, we'll be uh, selling tickets. Oh, fantastic. How much are tickets? <laughs> $10 a piece. Oh, wonderful. I'll, I'll, um, I'll have to be there. Well, I appreciate it very Thank much, man. Thank you for man. letting me know. I'll see you there. As soon as the sun gets dark, right here in town, I'll be playing the next movie. So make sure you line up soon. Fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome, miss.
Welcome to town, gentlemen. Welcome to town. You hear me, what? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Um, we're just about to do a mining run if you're interested. We've just got Miss Wren there. We're going to go through Blackwater and Strawberry, see if anyone else wants to join. Uh, I was going to go see a moving picture. All right, no worries. Oh, la dee da. Mm. I mean, can you wait until the moving picture's done? Well, if, um, you, if you all want to join in, the moving picture will be real good. A nice treat before you go out there to do hard work. With a fresh oh, movie in your heads to enjoy the dull sensation of swinging a hammer. Are you all right to wait until these people watch a moving picture uh, tonight and then we can go after the well, Oh picture? no, this gentleman's putting it on. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we can. We can do that. Okay. Well, as soon as the sun goes down, I'll be over at the tents taking tickets. Ten dollars a piece. Right, okay. Uh, let as me long as you don't show that people. bloody horror one again, it ends with bloody American propaganda against the Brits. Blech. I don't want to send it around there, but it's whatever the audience wants to watch usually. But uh, I think we're going to be showing uh, something about the bear or something again. Oh, all right, then. That's all right. Well, hopefully I'll see you all there soon. Propaganda. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it bloody ends with like all oh, oh, the, the never trust the English and the bloody redcoats and all that bloody bollocks. How you doing there, miss? How you doing? Well, tonight will be a moving picture being played. Uh, find yourself there, perhaps. Ten dollars a seat. Oh, ten dollars. Yes, sir, we, ma'am. Oh, yes, sir. I would love that. Well, we're about to start up very shortly, maybe the next two minutes, three minutes, as soon as the sun goes down. It's getting dark pretty quick today. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. It's over at the tents next to the uh, stables to the left. All righty. Anyway, you take care, miss. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. This is going to be good. Come on down here. Well, come on in. Get out of the rain. It's wet out there. Right, Ten dollars to get in. Having, thank you. Is that uh, yourself that I uh, pay pay the ticket price? Yeah, you pay it to me here. Oh, perfect. Must be ten dollars, man. My 
my uh, pocketbook open here. Here you go. I'll try that one more time. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Are you miss? Uh, my, my fingers are uh, a little bit uh, clumsy. No worries, it's cold out there. Get yourself warmed up in a chair soon. Get some nice and comfortable. Yes. This will be ten dollars. These three are on me, or two are on me, sir. Oh, so, I appreciate it. There you go. There you go. Have a seat, man. You're so comfortable. Oh, thank you. I Drake, am soaking wet. Come on in, guys. We're gonna we're gonna do the tickets right here. You guys can get out of the rain. Alright, let's get my pocketbook out here, Drake. I'm in front of you. <laughs> right here. And you said that would be thirty dollars for all three of you then. Yep. Much appreciated. Come on, sit down, get warm. Thank you. Yay, thank you. Well, come on in, sir. It'll be ten dollars. Right, yeah, I'll pay for Letty here as well. Sounds good. I see it. Back row. Yep. Just uh, oh, get you the money out of my pocket. Yeah, we'll just open my pocketbook up here as well. Make sure I mm -hmm. switch. Uh, there you go. Oh, wait, did we tell them it was in the tent? No, I thought they knew. All right, folks, make oh, yourself comfortable. Uh, That's pretty grand. Yeah, she's coming. Every time to watch a movie is when it's raining anyways. Get out of the rain, get some entertainment going. Oh, come on in, miss, for $10. At us, just three peas in a pod. Yeah, I hope this ain't Dennis. See, there's a pea in it. <laughs> I don't know where he. I've I've cleaned up the piss already. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank right. you. Thank you very much, man. Go, 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 go get yourself comfortable and warm. In here and, uh, Are you sitting the down as well? Mm -hmm. Here. I think uh, the gentleman's already paid for you, ma'am. Yeah, if a gentleman who comes in who looks exactly like him and a, a young doesn't... boy in red boots comes in, I'm going to go ahead and pay for them. He does right. look exactly like you. Well, he does not it. look exactly like me. He looks he less attractive than me. A little bit less attractive. Like he's he's a little bit tinier than him. <laughs> he is a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, How many seats we got left here? We got a lot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, so far. Okay. Plenty of seats. Plenty of seats. <laughs> I'm surprised how many people don't, are not aware where this tent is. But again, it's, you know, it's not a common place to go. You know, this place was in disarray when I got here. The old uh, machine was broken, so I had to bring a new one with me. All the way from Chicago. Long Ooh. way. That's wonderful. I'm sure you're freaking walk on in. We're going to have to show two films today. You've paid for both. And uh, let's get this thing going. All right, today's film will be showing, the first one on the film will be Sketching for a Sweetheart. Now, this one is a artistic piece drawn by some fellow, I forget his name. <laughs> I'm sure the credits will show it, if you can read. Perfect. I wish Danny was here to see this.
himself. Wow. That was incredible. That was the first film of the night. The next one will be a ghost story here. And this time, Danny is not around to shit himself. <laughs> oh, good thing. Now, this ghost story takes place in the earlier ages, uh, right after this, uh, a war had ended. Greetings and salutations, gentle folk. This here's a story about a young couple from the village of Annisburg that was courting a few years after the Revolutionary War. Courting in the woods, as you know young people want to do. Stealing away all sneaky like. A girl by the name of Ethel Beauchard snuck out of the parlor one evening just as soon as her mother went out to hang clothes on the line from the washing. She met up on the road by her farm with a boy by the name of Eugene Hutton. Now, the Hutton boy was an athletic chap, like boxing, fishing, and swinging Indian clubs. It's quite singular to the story that he didn't seem all that inclined to go to war in the preceding years leading up. Well, they walked in the woods for a while. Pretty soon, they lost their bearings and no longer knew the north from the south, nor east from west, neither. Then they heard a low, moaning sound. What's that terrible noise? She said all the truth. Must be a sick calf looking for its mama. They've been known to ball like that. Let me take a look, said Eugene. Well, old Eugene went and disappeared around the tree, came out the other side, and gave her a terrible fright. Boom! She let out a shriek, then went to chastising. You should be ashamed of yourself, Eugene Hutton, she said. Instead of giving a girl protection, you go carry on acting foolish and fresh like the Queen's Prize Jester. But right then and there, a chilly wind blew through and knocked off Eugene's hat. I need to get back home. My mama has a terrible temper. She'd like to stomp up and down if she finds out we're missing. She is a very stout woman, Eugene noted. But just then, before this couple of miscreants could head home, they heard the sound of heavy wheels groaning and people marching. The cacophony grew closer and closer. And through the fog, they could make out the shape of ghost horses pulling spectral cannons and dead soldiers marching as if their graves could no longer contain them. He's wearing a vile red coat. You will pay for your moral transgressions, the dead soldier howled and cut his head clean off. Miss Beauchard shrieked in horror as Eugene's head landed right in her hands. His eyes still darting about, attempting to discern what horror had transpired. Little Miss Ethel Beauchard ran as fast as she could, stumbling and getting caught on trees as she tore through the forest. Terrified for her life, the dead soldiers marching after, hungry for blood. When she returned home, she told the people of the village that an army of the dead had taken Eugene within the confines of the forest. British soldiers who died protecting tyranny were rising from their graves as if to continue the fight for the demonic English. The townspeople erupted in fright and dismay until one dollar came forth and accused her of witchcraft. She raised the dead to murder that boy for his pursuit of unwanted advances, he said. So she too must perish. And that very night, they put her to the stake and burn her dead. Now let that be a lesson to you young ones not to go courting in the woods in case the English lurk there still. Wow. Well, that was the two films for tonight. I hope the folks enjoyed. We have some more. I, I recently uh, got a hold of a carrier to bring another film down here eventually, so we'll have a new one coming up soon. Right. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you. Got no worries. I, I'm glad you all came here to enjoy it. We do this every other night. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. I must say, that was amazing. So thank you so much for the show. You're welcome, Mason. So hopefully I'll see you here again. We have plenty of shows, and maybe one day uh, you'll see some of my own products made by my own hands with my own uh, acting group as well. Oh, that sounds fantastic. I, I look forward to it. Uh, and what was your name, Miss, by the way? Oh, oh, it's, uh, 
Lily Linworth. Lily, nice to meet you. I'm Frank Brower. Pleasure to have you here. Oh, thank you, sir. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Well, hopefully I see you around town more often. Uh, you have a good one now. You as well. Sweep up, gotta clean the place up now. <laughs> yeah, I've been really enjoying this character. It's fun to get people together to uh, see the moving pictures and so on. It's kind of like a humble character. It's fun. I'm loving this character a lot. Missing with the film thing. I haven't seen anyone do this before on the server. Sixteen, All these money footprints. Definitely making my money's worth right now. Happy there, sir. Oh, just saying hi. How you doing there? This storm's about to go crazy. I can feel it. Yeah, it's about to rain. So I'm gonna find myself indoors. It's raining earlier. Oh shit. Okay, yeah. Maybe it's smart to get inside. I heard you were taking the day off. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Miss. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about that. 
mining ship you ain't shipping at all, mate. <laughs> oh, no worries. If you ever change your mind, uh, I don't think you can stop the ship that line on the code for it. My telegram number, so you can just telegram me again. <laughs> Oh, no worries, take care. Any sign of them? I'll check the back of the saloon. I don't know where they appear to be appeared to. What's that? The hell are you wearing? I'm security now for Mr. Delaney's uh, saloon. Okay. Because I actually get paid there. I'm actually like that I'm keeping a ledger just because my last character couldn't read. It was great. How you doing, folks? Good to see y'all. Good to see you too. That was a nice hey show, there, mister. I'm glad you can make it this time, Drake. How you doing there, son? I hope you guys are out doing well. Yeah. Oh, here he is now. Yeah. Mr. Delaney? Mm-hmm. This is uh, Connie here. He's joining us. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, mister. You got a mining pick, mate, yet? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. I was hoping I could get one. Uh, oh. Will you just go to the general store? You can pick Oh, they got one at the general store? Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go to the general store, mate. Well, prize fighters. Looks like boxers become a real big thing. Said you need boxers, so really? is seeking a prize fighter for their next uh, bout on the 29th of April. New experienced prize mm. fighters of all weight classes are wanted to add to their growing roster. If you believe that, you have what it takes to be the best in the cross and fierce fighters in the challenge. The Sicilian line for the prestigious title of the reach out today. Don't delay contacting Tommy Cooper. His, uh, this is his, uh, what is his number here? Post office number is CE468, Frame and Fortune Awaits. Well, shit, I might have to find a boy to box on my behalf. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, well, you said 29th? Uh, it, it says the 29th of April, yes, sir. Hmm. I may have to get a hold of that, fella. Mm hmm Well, I'm glad I made my long journey out here to the crossing. The last three days I've been here, I've been, well, semi-profitable. But it's definitely an interesting place with plenty of stories to be had. That's for sure. I bet. It's, it's never a dull moment. You chose the right time. It should be. I think uh, Blackwater has a space too. If you ever expand, has a space uh, or something similar. Yeah, I heard I about that. I'm not, sure. I'm not sure if I can afford that building just yet. I gotta make my way up that way. Oh, you, you'll get there, I bet. I'm sure after my first film and I debut it there at my little theater, I'm sure I'll have plenty of money to invest in a bigger theater. Oh, yeah. Now, I heard I St. Denis is the place to be in this uh, crossing. When it comes to movies yeah. and uh, fame and fortune and so on. I myself ain't ventured down there yet, but I, I have heard that too. Well, hopefully one day, Drake, you'll see on a big sign that says Frank Brower and Movie Associations on a big what banner. Got a pickaxe. I, I hope to see that one day, actually. I'll remember that you were one of my first paying customers as well. Uh, oh, man. I, I'm looking forward to it. It's your name in lights. I'm like, I know that fellow there. I remember <laughs> where he started. Mm -hmm. Down in the piss and shit and dirt and Valentine. Making my way up Smooth to the street lights. <laughs> and, you can, and you can report on it. If, if we're talking to uh, one of the Daily Beagles, you can say, I witnessed uh, this handsome fellow, Frank Brower, Get his ass almost handed to him in a saloon by some angry, angry drunk customer, and I was there to help get lend him a helping hand. 
Yep, and security was nowhere to be seen. In fact, they were probably laxed on their job, sleeping behind the saloon or something. Huh? What are you saying about me? <laughs> <laughs> there was a fella. We were sitting here talking, me and Frank, and a fella just walked right in through the front door, walked right up to Frank, and punched him. It was the weirdest damn thing. I swear he had the devil in his eyes when he came up to me. Huh. Yeah, so me and Frank oh, took to turns that. beating the shit out of him, pretty much. He should have seen He'd punch him. Turn around, I'll punch him. He'd turn around, he'd punch him. <laughs> well, I don't think that'd make yeah, a funny film. Get rid of the body. Love to see it. Uh, I need to make sure they're not leaving without us. Oh. All right, Frank, I'm going to stand out here so we don't get left. All right, you take care, gentlemen. Have a good one. Tony said he was coming. And yeah, then... I saw him out back. I like that my country's also keeping uh, keeping a ledger as well for his business profits. I swear he had the devil on his ass. I'm here from Chicago. I'm curious to see where this character's story goes, because like he's he's gonna be kind of more of a different style of things, different kind of people you can get involved with. Really enjoying the angle of this one. It's definitely very unique, I like to think. Oh, shit, did he owe you money? <laughs> Brother stole my horse. What can I do for you? Oh, I was just going to come here for one uh, non-deluxe bath. The free one. Okay, go on in the back. I'm going to sign the guest ledger here real quick. Okay. Well, I imagine he's fired now. <laughs> Thank you very much for your business, sir. By the way, if you ever find yourself uh, on free time ever evening, I'm playing a new moving picture over in the tents to the left of the stables. I will take that into consideration. That was good. You enjoy yourself, sir. By the way, lovely choice of hairstyle. Thank you.
Oh, is that you, Gomer? Tall tortoise. Me? I wasn't mm -hmm. even in Tall Tortoise. I was running around with the Italians. The Italians? Now, why are you running around with the Italians? You know they ain't nothing but trouble. Oh, Gomer. Well, Bella. Good news. I'm making good money here. And soon I'll have enough equipment and pay to make you a star soon. I was that right? Yes, sir, right. I'm thinking my schedule will fit probably oh, weekends, whereas I'll start filming these shows. But first, we got to get actually, the script I, together and so on, but I think I can make you, you miss a star of the crossing. How does that sound to you now? <laughs> I mean, whatever work, I'll help him. Well, sounds good. Listen, I was insane to Nate. How do you feel about playing the hero okay. who I takes down a like pants, undead yeah. cowboy yeah. who comes from back from the dead, man. who tries to drink people, and if they fail yeah. out drink him, so he shoots them dead and drags them to hell. Yeah. And you out drink the dead cowboy. What pe people have been making uh, fun of what I've been wearing lately, so I'm trying Why? to make All right, I yeah, sounds good. Whatever work, man, I don't know. I mean, it seems a little uh, outworldly. Well, I'm sure if some people alive a good... Uh, Spooky, kind of, you know, people are superstitious around here. I don't think they enjoy it. Maybe they piss themselves in fear. I don't know if that's really much help coming from me. Well, I, I'll, I'll think on it more, but I'll get back to you. Keep on it, yeah. Get back to you on it. Yeah, apparently. I'll get back to you on it. <laughs> Does he does he not look mm -hmm. like who I think he looks like? Doesn't he? Oops. I would mm -hmm. have to double take. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. May he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. I didn't know about that till the other day. Yeah. I still don't know what happened. What are you looking? Oh, he's reading the paper. I don't know what happened either, actually. Oh, uh, he's been sick. He was sick for a long time. Well, I'm sort to see why they call you Moxie now. What? Because <laughs> you just got Moxie. I got Spunk, Sass, and Moxie. That was about right to me. God, you look so much like him. Excuse me. I'm okay. sorry I have the looks of someone that uh, you knew. But, uh, I mean, we might be brothers or cousins or something. Who knows? Oh, you do not want to be brothers with this man. No, you definitely don't. You do not want to be brothers with this man. I'd have known. Well, my father was known for being a, a man who got around places, so who knows? <laughs> he definitely got around places with a gun and a knife. Now, if you excuse me, I want some whiskey. All right, y'all be good. I will try my best. You Thank you for the kind words. Of course. Mr. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Mate? Uh, uh, I'm Frank uh, Bauer. No, uh, uh, Oh. Never mind. <laughs> what was your name, sir? Thanks for the city. The crime. I didn't mean to spell. No worries, no worries. Valentine of April, <laughs> he's like, we a skunk. This is the story. He wafted up behind local man, Danny Ford. <laughs> oh, Danny. <laughs> and held the creatures to the law. Warning everyone does what I say or they <laughs> let it rip. The victim smelled trouble and had no choice but to watch and plug their noses as the man took $69.81 from the till. The putrid perpetrator and his acrid accomplice remain at large. <laughs> Andrew, this, sir. How are you doing? Oh, well. 
What's your name, Feather? Oh, my name's me. What's yours? Nice to meet you, Neil. I'm Frank Brower. Nice to meet you. Hey, Frank. Pleasure. If you find yourself bored and want some entertainment, when a dark uh, nightfall comes through here, I run the moving pictures to the left of the stables there. If you find yourself there, $10 a head. All right, I'll keep that in my mind. I've never been to one of the moving pictures, but sounds interesting. Well, it is a marvel to behold. If you don't see one, it might change your view of the world entirely. Well, I'm always looking to broaden my horizons. So, uh, when is it you say you run them? Every evening on weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sundays. I mean, like right, when, well, when the sun gets dark outside. So, I'm probably. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's starting to get starting to get dark evening. soon. So. All right. Well, I'll keep that in mind, and uh, if I got ten dollars spare, I'll, I'll come by and uh, check it out with you. Very good. And you uh, now I, with the ten dollars, I play two movies as well. So you get uh, two movies for the price of one. No, well, what a deal. I, I, I feel I can't pass that up now Here, now I'm hearing about it. Okay. Make sure you bring some friends. If you bring a lady friend, maybe I might give you a discount as well. <laughs> well, that means I got to meet a lady friend first, but I'll work on that as well. I'm sure there's plenty around the saloon who might be willing to hold on to your arm for an evening, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, if, if that's the case, it doesn't sound like I'm getting much of a discount, but uh, I, I'll see what I can do for you, partner. Oh, you take care. Thank you very much. All right, you too. Out of there, Miss. How you doing? How about yourself? I'm doing well. Have we met before? You seem familiar. Uh, my name is Charlotte Davis. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Frank Brower. Nice to meet you as well. Right. Oh. Sorry about that, Spider. Why is this fella running like a lunatic? Hey, if a fella comes in here, Kenway, will you let him know I went to get a bath? That sounds fair enough if I see you, Kenway. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. No worries, ma'am. Enjoy yourself. Mm-hmm.
the job. I am really enjoying playing uh, Rick Brown. Oh, I thought I'm playing a social character again. <laughs> You guys doing in chat by the way. Well
Hope you guys don't find some stuff. Daddy boy, how you doing? How you doing, son? You all right, daddy boy? Huh? Found one. What about me? No, not you, sir. Anyone, miss. By the way, uh, tonight we'll be playing another movie, if you're interested. Let your friends know. Alright, All right. we'll It's about to get dark. It's about the time for a good movie anyways. Alright, thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And boy, you looking a bit confused? Are you started drinking? <laughs> Follow me, gentlemen. I want to let you know that there's a mo uh, moving picture to be played oh, tonight sir, when I'm it gets. Say, here, actually, come in. Yep. Step a little bit closer. You know, I took a very pretty girl to your moving picture show, and I will say it was absolutely fantastic. I watched The Bear, I watched uh, The Secret of Flight, I watched here. Please take this. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's, it's a good place to take a lady, especially a lady friend you want to get to know better. I appreciate there it. Thank you, you very much. You help me, uh, <laughs> help me uh, grow my business. Most definitely. You know what? Just, just take it. That's, that's. There you go. Take it all. Wow, well, I appreciate it. Thank you job. very much. It was very clean. It was very nice. You do a good job advertising it. Keep doing it. Well, hopefully soon I'll be making my own moving pictures. Soon, just gotta get the equipment well, together. Got to invest in everything. But, ladies and gentlemen, it's about to get dark, so I'm about to plan new moving pictures. If you find yourselves there, I'd much like to have you over. Well, you guys yeah, take care. Right. Yeah, no Blackwater would uh, be so. interested in having some folk there. Oh, yeah. Eventually, I'll get to Blackwater, but that building looks a bit uh, more expensive to maintain, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Well, uh, just keep that in mind. There was a good folk up there. Oh, very good. Very good.
forgot that guy enjoyed the show. <laughs> Get some people out here. Enjoy a moving picture. over here a moment to see again I'm pretty sure um, there's a lot of lawn towers so probably have to Oh, 
No customers today, that's fine. Well played there, mate. You keep up the good work, yeah? Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I just play a little bit more lively. <laughs> it does indeed. Excuse me. Where the DDoS thing stopped? The last night was annoying.
How you doing there, Dana boy? Oh, I just... I went through some kind of experience. You seem to be wandering around like you ain't got your wits about you. Well, yeah, I kind of... I don't... I'm kind of in, in trouble, maybe. I'm not sure. With the law? I kind of got robbed-ish, kind of. Was it that one of you older than fellas? No, no, this is, this is a, I met a guy named El Coyote, and, and he needed money for his mama, and he, uh, I, I gave him $50, but then he kind of relieved me of the rest of my money and some other stuff that I had, and then we ended up in the sheriff's office, and we kind of got locked in there when they weren't there, and so we, we kind of got in all sorts of trouble, but... I'm not sure what's going on. Well, I'll keep my ears peeled for some El Coyote. Make sure I avoid him if I want to see my pockets empty, you know. Y yeah, he's... He, they have him handcuffed at the the jail right now. Uh, they're kind of questioning him. H how did the mo motion picture go? I, I was hoping to go, go see that, but then I got tied up into that. It went pretty well. I made a good profit, eighty-seven dollars. Not too bad. Oh, wow, that's that's real good. Hopefully, I was trying to get some more people to come out tonight, but tonight didn't get very many people. The night before, we did get plenty. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm bad. I missed it. Well, as always, next night, make sure you find some people to bring with you as well. Help, you know, oh, good old course. Frank Brower make his income. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Anything, anything to help. It's good to me then, son. Well, I'm kind of nervous, though, about that situation. Hmm. Well, it looks like the law is handling now. I, I hope so. I, I, I'm kind of scary. Were they trying to find you and throw you in jail as well? What's happening with that? No, I don't, I don't think so. I'm probably going to have to give them more of a report on it, but... Hopefully I don't go to jail. I mean, I was in their office there. I, I didn't. I didn't take nothing. Well, I'm sure you're fine. The law, when it comes to more serious crimes, at least have their heads on straight for that. But when it comes to lesser crimes, sometimes they uh, all twisted about with morality and stuff. What the law says. Yeah. Final yeah. folks are you know defending the property and so on. Right. Right. Yeah. I did lose something that that other gang kind of needed me to have. But uh, I think they're going to be a little upset. I might be in trouble with them, too, now. How the hell you get yourself into so much trouble, Danny boy? Well, I'm not really sure. I just, I'm just standing here, minding my business. Sounds like you involved the wrong people, boy. Wrong people. I, I'm not sure. Grab yourself up, I guess, a glass of warm milk and relax and enjoy the yeah. music I'm playing. Yeah, milk does sound good right now. I know that you don't drink, which is very bizarre for a man not to drink, but to each other. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, just like cigarettes, whiskey is good for the heart. You know that, right? Well, that's what I keep hearing, but I just I mean, I don't like the taste much. And... If you just want to be unhealthy, I understand. It's your own choice to do what you, God gave him body. Well, if yeah, you're having kids yeah. one day, you just got to think about it. You want to live a long life, so you better, you know, develop these good habits while you can still. Well, yeah, sure, yeah. I thought about putting in my, my order with the store. Just, uh, I figured nine months from now I might, might be married, maybe. Nine months from today. What? The lady of the red boots going to walk right in here then, and she's going to be the one for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Well, I don't know nothing about being a father. I can tell you, don't be like my daddy, who had plenty of children of different women. It gets real messy there. <laughs> Whose oh. brother is who, and who's who, and so on. Well, okay, well. Hmm. How, howdy, sir. Can I get you something to eat or drink? Nah, I'm all good, mate. Thank you.
Take ten. Ain't you a sweet boy? Hey, we in another town, man. So I'll think about it. I'm sure you'll be around here tomorrow, miss. You know, well, you're a quiet one, aren't you? I do seem to find myself in some tricky situations. I might need some more skills eventually, but uh, I still rely on the security around here, but they're, they're not here right now, I guess. I could have used them a little earlier. Sir, I put them well, there's a, there's a fella that, that came in here that kind of uh, roped me into some, some stuff, and he, he's currently in handcuffs over at the, the sheriff's office. I... What did he rope you into? Well, well, he took me out back and told me about his mama. I guess his mama's kind of in a, in a life and death situation, and he needed uh, like $6,000 or something like that. So, so I... Okay. I gave him 50, to 50 of my dollars. I was happy to give it to him. I don't want anything to happen to his mama. But, but, but then he, he kind of took me off to some, some other place up in the hills there. And, and then he kind of relieved me of, of the rest of my funds, which I, I'm okay with. I mean, if, it, if, his, if he needs it for his mama, I, I understand. He, Look, don't believe people's stories like that. People tell you all sorts of things. Well, he's, uh, well he, he loves his mama. He, he, I don't think there's anyone else he loves more than his mama. And I mean, I... I I understand that. Or he's just telling you some made up story so he can get money off of you. Well, not saying he is, I'm just could be. Just gotta well, be cautious. I'm not sure. He things. had this idea, he, he, well, he needs like $6,000. He said he had a, a lot of items he could sell, and, but he needed labels for it. So we went to the sheriff's office to get labels, but no one was there. And then we got locked inside the sheriff's office. And, and then he broke the window and he. Well, we, it was kind of a whole ordeal, and well, so they're, they're asking him about it. I'm kind of confused myself. He's words I couldn't quite understand. Uh, I think he speaks uh, Spanish. Okay. What's his first name, like Coyote or something he said? Yeah, El, El Coyote. El Coyote. I, I, I told him about my, my back of my shirt. I got this here wolf, but he, he didn't like wolves, apparently. He just likes coyotes, apparently. Did you talk to the deputies already about what happened? Well, well, briefly, before uh, he kind of, we, we kind of had some uh, problems with our, our eyes got awful dusty, and so oh, okay. I only got to talk to him for a little bit. I imagine they're going to come talk to me some more. Mm. Yeah, I'd say go find them and tell your side, otherwise you're going to end up getting in trouble with somebody else. It yeah, sounds yeah. like, Danny, well, you have the habit of attracting trouble to yourself, son. <laughs> well, I, I'm not really sure how that happens. I mean... I could use my diamond back from that El Coyote because that other group of fellas gave that to me uh, for another type of job. And once they find out I don't have it no more, they're probably going to be upset. You just find yourself in the string of the worst luck, Danny boy. Worst luck. You know what? This, this is a telling sign. This must be a, a curse of Valentine because the other young bartender I know who used to work here also has the worst luck in the world. Really? Hmm. Yeah, a fella named Hal used to work here, get robbed all the time. Then he became a ranger, still gets robbed all the time. Well, we got robbed by a man holding a skunk the other day. Really? I read about that in the newspaper, finally. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, did he publish that article? He did. Oh, I need to read that. I can read it to you right now. Oh, good. Let's see, where is it? The Stench of Crime. New Caleb Milton. And the uh and what may be the most offensive crime on record, a masked man entered the Red Lion Saloon in Valentine on April twenty second, wielding a skunk. He wafted it up behind local man Danny Ford and held the creature's tails aloft. Warning everyone um, does what I say or I let it rip. The victim smelled trouble and had no choice but to watch as they plugged their noses as the man took sixty nine dollars and eighty one cents from the till. The putrid perpetrator and his acrid accomplice are remain at large still. Huh. Yeah. They end up catching him, though, yesterday, and they had him do community service, and he had to clean up the bathhouse, and then he came over here, and he had to clean up some of the messes around here, so he, 
he was supposed to be reformed. He said he would be, but then he kind of said he was might come back here again with two skunks or something. But because uh, one skunk sure. wasn't enough, huh? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. He seemed kind of upset about having to clean stuff up. He just got a screw loose in his head, son. That's it. Well, yeah, I guess so. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, tonight I'll be uh, showing some more movies. If you find yourselves interested in wanting to relax in the warm theater with moving pictures. Oh, what the is that? The theater here in town by the tents, to the left of the uh, horse stables. Oh, oh my goodness. You, you're, you're not going to show the scary one again, are you? No, no, I ain't going to show the scary one when you're in there because you did leave a puddle of piss inside there. I had to clean up. So next time you do that, what I'm going to charge you double. Sunny. Hmm. What? what? Say, mate, did I hear you correctly that you're going to start making movies? Yes, I am. Well, if you ever need a tour guide out in the sticks, you uh, you let me know. Now, what I would have quite, quite the sightseeing experience myself. That's good enough, because we might need to go to some fantastic locations to make the film more believable. What's the name, son? Well, name's Rick Roxton, mate. Rick Roxton's of the Roxton Safari Company. Well, Rick, it's nice to meet you. I'm Frank Brower. Frank Brower of the... Uh, Moving pictures. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Bell. <laughs> I haven't come up with a company name yet. It's just the uh, Moving Pictures Theater Tent out there. So I'll have to come up with a yeah. nice banner eventually. But uh, let me get your uh, your uh, post office number here. Yeah, sure thing, mate. When you're ready. I'll just uh, turn to the page where I keep information. Uh all right. Uh, your name one more time, sir. Yep. So it's Rick Roxton, R-O-X-T-O-N. And the telegram is Kangaroo Jack 514. K-J-514. All right. I have you in there. If you want to take mine down as well, I can give it to you as well. Yeah, beautiful. Just give me one second. Let me go a little notebook out of here. Uh, Oaks. So how do I spell your last name, Mr. Bell? It is uh, B-R-O-W-E-R. Brower. All right. Easy. And what's your telegram? Let me pull it up here. Uh, it is F-K-769. FK769. Perfect. All right, Mr. Brower. Well, when you are shooting those moving pictures, you let me know and we can do some location scouting for you. Sounds good to me as well. I'll need it because eventually I have some good ideas for some films. Some of them will be in town, but eventually I'll have to do some daring wilderness adventure as well. But my next film is going to be about a, a bandit who comes back to the dead to challenge others to a drinking competition. If you, can out, if you cannot out drink this dastardly spirit, he drags you down to hell with him. But if you out drink him, oh. you can finally rest. Ooh. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know, Daddy Boy. It's nothing for you, because you might find yourself pissed in fear. But some people out there have a stronger mm -hmm. uh, personality, and they can handle it better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe I might make a film about you, the Lonely Farmer's Boy, who is... Uh, Kind-hearted and uh, loves daisies and roses and uh, tending to his flock. Well, I gotta, gotta remember the red boots in there. Yeah, red boots. You're looking for your lady, the red boots. And maybe we tell the tale where you do successfully find her or something. And uh, maybe we might bring you luck. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's gonna happen. Especially if, you're, if your face is on the big screen. I imagine eventually a lady wearing red boots will come along your way. Well, well I'm sure either way she's gonna... We'll, we'll find each other. But I'll let you know I get a point. I still have to afford the equipment, you know. I have to order it from France. The French have uh, designed this device, and it's not uh, widely marketed yet, and uh, uh, crossing, so it's hard to get my hands uh, uh, onto these things. So I have to find some fellow who's going to go out there across the water and make sure it's shipped across the ocean, makes it here in one piece. Be, uh, well, fingers crossed for you, mate. <laughs> pretty price, boys. I'm saving my money for now. But eventually I'll get that. But right, well, seven films is good enough for a while, but eventually I'll have to make my own. I need to find this paper person, though, so I get my name in the article so they know about my business. That's a good idea. 
There's oh, a number wow. in the papers that you can telegram. Hmm? Uh, Miss Zoe, were you, were you going to be a, a cadet or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a cadet. Oh, well, congratulations, officially. Thank you. Appreciate that. How's that going? It's been, it's been absolutely crazy. You've been very, very busy. It's lovely. Well, I see. Uh, do you need any stew or anything? No, I'm all right. Thank you. I'm uh, Rick, did you want to go and have that fight? Hell, why the hell not? Let's do it. Okay. Oh, We're just going to go have a scrap in the big pen. Yeah, Welcome to watch. Oh, all right. Well, I'm... Yeah, hey, but you usually have to pay for those kind of things. It's a free show right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, after you, Miss Zoe. Okay, that's great. The debts lead the way, don't they? And I'm on D. Not since the Winston days, good lord. Oh my goodness. For some reason, I have a feeling she's going to beat the tar of you, son. Oh, I wouldn't I'm put it past her. I'm not, I'm not sure. Last time I, I had the winning hand, but we'll see how we go this time. Are you telling me you'll hit a woman? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's quite the woman, yep. mister. Uh, 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 three, two, uh, one, uh, five. Oh, wow, what a low shot right there. Ooh, she's getting a couple of hits in. Look at that. She's walled up in you good, son. Watch out. Don't trip over the pig now. <laughs> she is getting you good. And I was making a bit of a comeback there for a second. Go, come on now, keep them hands up. That's the secret. You gotta keep the hands up. Oh. Right in the gut. Oh, she is a feisty little thing. Look at her. Oh, how are you? How do you have her teeth? Sir? I wonder if she's read about the fighting contest, the boxing matches in the paper yet. She might, she might ought to apply. Rick's looking a little wobbly there, don't he? Oh, 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 and he made a comeback. <laughs> a good fight right there. Goodness gracious. I think you're both winners in my book. She had you on the ropes for a bit, but that last bit of spunk you got there, energy. You have no idea how close this was, Zoe. This is such a good fight. Oh, opa. Oh. Oh, wait, are you in the room? <laughs> <laughs> like a good old boxing match for a bit. We're going to uh, disconnect from the server for a bit. There's a uh, patch update, and we'll just you know talk and chat for a bit, guys. Q&A time. If you've got any questions you want to ask, anything you want to talk about, shoot up and chat, guys. I'm going to open book. All right, uh, so we restart. And then. Yeah, it's a good patch. Play some music.
I think UK. You guys enjoy the show? You guys like the new character? What do you guys think of Connor Cree? Not Connor Cree, uh, Frank Brower. I'm not sure, um, so we're going back up. Let's take a look at this. Yes. Yes. I'm farted. I'm farted everywhere. <laughs> it is restart time. It is. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Doing well. Can't, well, wait, can't wait for you to be I'm back up. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I guess not really restart time, just a time for a restart, if that makes sense. Yeah, they're adding a patch update and so on. Yeah, I should not have tried to make an outfit. That was a bad idea. I knew it was coming too. Ah, uh, yeah, outfits take time, man. Yesterday, uh, when the server was being DDoS, I was trying to create uh, this character, actually two days ago, I think, and I was having mm -hmm. trouble. I had to remake him like five times. So. I did that the other day for another character that I was just going to maybe play once in a while, and uh, it was middle DDoS. I'm like, I can get it done, right? <laughs> and I make a little bit of progress. I'd like know where I was and go back to it. And I'm like, eh, why did I even try? Yeah. But once again, I'm trying to update something really quick. Dead. My brain does not multitask well for some reason. <laughs> hey, Muzzy, thank you for my. Yeah, Connor's dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's that? Sorry, I'm talking to my chat at the same time. I, I haven't. Ah, okay. Talk on Discord. I just wanted to hop in here to see if anybody else is going to be in here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to kill time. Exactly. What do you play? I play two characters in the crossing right now. Uh, one is a ranger named Hal, who is currently suspended, but that's another story. Um, who is also known as the unluckiest ranger, in, uh, and then I play a man, a criminal named Casey Weston. That unlucky ranger did he used to be a bartender for a while. Yes, he did. I heard a story about your catcher today. <laughs> While I was in the saloon. Uh, uh, oh no. We're talking about how Danny Boy is working there right now. Is really unlucky in situations and then this other guy's like yeah this, uh, this uh rick guy uh i was like yeah this reminds me of another guy he used to be uh, <laughs> rick god damn it rick i started yeah character. i started a new character recently his name is uh, uh frank brower he's the moving pictures guy okay that's i i heard something about that in the shout outs or something and i i, I was gonna check that out at some point oh, shout outs someone shouted me out what someone someone said something about moving pictures somewhere i don't know where but i know i saw it but uh how is the unluckiest man is that, that how... is just true who dis oh howdy new phone who dis new phone who i was hello sending a message to somebody so i didn't see who how i i do eternal <laughs> i am good this has actually been a really good night of roleplay, to be honest. I've been having a That's blast, good. too. I'm enjoying getting people to go to the moving pictures. I, I, I think it's adding a little level of, like, RP to things. People can just kind of, like, relax uh -huh. with their characters somewhere. Yeah, my, my twin brother in real life, he's starting up um, a boat, like, transportation company. Mm -hmm. And people like to do it just because uh, it's interesting. It's, like, something different, you know? Um, And then he fucking <laughs> crashed twice <laughs> I, I like to oh my uh, god for my characters i like to make money through rp the, 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 yeah the, more, more so than i can so, like i don't like to just go mining or hunting or other stuff because you know you can grind it out i like to have an interaction with another player every time if i can so i always try to play a kind of business kind of style character so like yeah previous character made money through uh selling moonshine uh um, but to other players not not doing the deliveries Wait, um, okay. What was your previous character? Because I definitely bought Moonshine off somebody as hell once. Connor Cree, goddamn, pick your head. <laughs> yeah, that was him. <laughs> it was definitely him. 
Uh, I did it in Armadillo once after Hal almost got in a shootout. And then uh, this, this current character, I'm just selling uh, movie tickets to uh, the moving pictures. And so I'm making money doing that. And since this character can read and write, it's nice because I'm actually keeping a ledger for him where Connor uh -huh. could not read or write. So he just said, ah, make some money. <laughs> just like, <laughs> put it in the bag. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. Um, so now I'm like keeping a ledger and stuff. So if someone robs me, so my ledger, it's going to be great. <laughs> They're going to see like notes I kept and shit like that. And uh, I'll have all my... Um, I keep all my uh, contact information for like the post office and shit. Uh huh. And all, all the characters I've played recently on the server, none of them have been able to read. So it's like, this is the first time I'm really getting to use the post office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, I have not played a character who didn't know how to read yet because I just haven't thought about it. It's but fun. that seems like a really fun handicap in a way. It makes people have to find you and do other things. There's, Ooh, there, there's, I gotta go. See you guys you in, in there. See ya. Goodbye. Some, Bye -bye. some people are just like, hey, how about you just tell the, the telegram guy to do it for you? And he's like, not, not, you don't understand. He ain't like me in there because I made a problem for him last time. And so it's like, oh, I don't trust him. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> I can't have him read my telegrams. Exactly. My kid will never like do a telegram. Uh, Cause some people try to say, like, you know, do it this way. Like, the guy will do it for you. Just tell him what you want on the right. Like, that kind of breaks like, my character. Trying to give you a solution, you know? Yeah. I'm like, I don't read No, it's a character choice. Yeah. <laughs> this is a choice I'm making. He doesn't read or write. He hates the, the telegram office. They give him shit. He doesn't want to trust him with the private information he's got to send people, you know? <laughs> so. Yeah, fair enough. And then he's even said stories once. Well, I slept with the guy's wife there. And he ain't too happy about it. So whenever I go in there, he tries to pull a gun on me. He's just like, I make up a story every time as an excuse. Why? <laughs> that, I mean, I think that's a cool little character flaw. Slash, like, detail to add. I had sent for Hal, but he is just the most unlucky person I have ever... I'm not even doing it on purpose. It's just, like, things just keep happening that should not be happening. Um, that I don't even need to add any flaws. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly. Like, I w logged in yesterday and immediately get kidnapped from the Ranger Porch. It was fun. Uh, my character... I can't wait for shit to happen to him because he's not... He's not a fighter. Uh, um. it, yeah, it's just things to him, you know? That's that's how Hal sees it. He's good drops all the fucking time, so it's just items. You better not die for it. Yeah. Sorry, I was, I'm just joking. Um, so like, what I was going to say is, like, uh, my character, he's not a fighter, so he's kind of like, you know, he might pull a knife or a gun on occasion if he feels like he's got, like, the up on it, he's not a complete, you know, coward, but he's definitely uh -huh. not a fighter, you know. He'll try to talk his way out of it, and you know, if he's pushed far enough, he'll start, you know, do something dumb and drink and so on. But he's he likes alcohol, he's, he's a bit of a gambler, which is some of his flaws. Uh, not to the extent that my other character was, but like, uh, hmm. he's gonna be somebody who borrows money from people, and uh, that's interesting, can't pay it back, yeah, can't pay it back or pay it back late. So, you know, they're gonna know where he works because he runs that's gonna pictures. create some very fun stories. Yeah. I think. Like, now, listen, I will pay you back as soon as I get the income. I just I unfortunately have the situation here that happened a lot, you know, you understand, right? It's just like, just <laughs> need a little more time. Oh, <laughs> uh, god. Um, I this is my first server I've put on for any Red Dead or GTA RP. So I didn't know any mechanics. So I'm like, I'm gonna play a ranger to see how bad it goes. Um, out of character wise, I, I, I know nothing. So, <laughs> oh, there's a Q. Twenty out of twenty. Uh, I have to hop back in Q now. I don't know. And it's always my friends' alternate characters who rob me. Always. <laughs> That's weird. Oh. <laughs> yeah like they, they, they say uh, like sometimes they'll, they'll stream it and i'll like go back and I'm like okay and there's always like oh there's hell oh <laughs> like they'll like choose me and then realize who it is and like oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> Just don't look. yeah they're like that's how isn't it yeah let's go get hell <laughs> no don't take me i haven't played in a while it seems like the server has definitely got like a huge population increase of people like it's getting a bunch of no pixel streamers oh that makes sense i heard something about that that's cool. Yeah, so a lot of, like, a couple of the notebooks would come over, and then some of their friends saw it, and are also coming over now. 
but like some big streamers are coming over so popularity is increasing like we hit our max for the first time a couple days ago that's gonna be good for my um, youtube channel fuck <laughs> yeah i know i'm like i need to I, 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 i'm stream occasionally i haven't streamed like a week because uh i don't know i just haven't felt like uh who's sending me a discord yet? um oh okay not really sorry i got adhd there um what was i gonna say Oh yeah, but there's people that are averaging like seven thousand viewers on the server now. Shit, I need to start streaming more again. <laughs> yeah, I I got it, and then I got to affiliate, and then like on the server, and then I haven't even touched it yet. Like, God, I really do need to stream again. But my computer is killing itself slowly, so we'll see if that happens or not. I was playing a lot for a bit. I had just moved to a new state, and I have I, I was had unemployment, and I was just like living. And all I had to do was stream on YouTube for a bit. So like, I grew my uh -huh. channel a lot, but I wish it would have lasted a little longer because this is like the perfect time to do that when you got yeah. big streamers because I can get me more exposure if I end up having a good story with them, you know? Yeah. I, I noticed uh, 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 one of uh, Mr. Moon's friends, um, uh, he's playing, uh, uh, Timac. I saw him playing on the server some more again. I see Sifter everywhere now. And uh, I was like, when I, when I talked to his kid, I was like, I recognize this guy's, this guy's voice. Ah, oh, I've seen Timac here and there before because I used to, Role play, not with him specifically, but all of the same servers he uh -huh. in the past. But it's like the first time my characters, I've, any of my characters, I've ever really interacted with his character before. <laughs> uh huh. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird because like I, I didn't know if I was gonna like what server to join, and I'd never really done, uh, I've done RP in a, in a while before this, so I was like, but now some of the streamers that I've watched are people that I'm RPing with now, and it's kind of it is kind of weird. Like, you watch these streamers, and then all of a sudden you're just playing the same world as them. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I want to go interact with them, but I have no in-game reason to, so I'm not going to. But it is... It's just... It's neat. It's kind of neat. I hope some of them do YouTube as well, because I, I do want to see the YouTube RP community for Red Dead grow more, because it's, it's big on NoPixel. Yeah. The one thing NoPixel does way better than Wild is they're fucking putting out content. Like, the, the team here puts out no content... Other than the streamers doing it, but like, the, like, there's no like wild wow RP presence like how No Pixel has. Yeah, it takes a while to grow that, and uh, wild. But RP's, this would be the time to be doing it. Like, this would be the time. Wild RP has been growing a lot too since there was uh, when uh, Mr. Moon, uh, his friends, and uh, um, what's the other guy's name? Uh, I just forgot his name. He played uh, uh, Vertigo when Vertigo came over too. Oh yeah, <laughs> that brought a lot of people. And I had, I had started playing on server before they got here because I had some other friends playing. Because the server I was playing the on The wannabe kid. Yeah. <laughs> this is good role players right now. And I just started a new character. Unfortunately, I don't, I don't have enough time to play on weekends now, but I think I'm just going to uh -huh. play as much as I can on weekends. I've got a full-time job right now. It's taking up all my time. But uh, I'm going to try to like really grow this character because Connor Curry was my main for almost a year. And, uh -huh. uh, he's dead now, so. Uh, that's that's fair. Every time I get down, I think about Permering Hal. I'm not going to anytime soon, but that would just—he's <laughs> such a well-loved character. Like as as a former bartender and then a ranger, like a lot of people do know who he is. It'd be very uneventful if he died, but it'd be very sad. The best permas are the ones that make sense in RP. Like I only perma yeah. through RP, so like I, I will never perm out in the woods where no one can see it. I need, he needs to be yeah. around, you know. Oh yeah, that, I mean absolutely. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I just thought it'd be funny. And I gotta reset through another patch. Oh no, it just didn't connect. That's fine. I gotta get back in the queue. Although there's not enough people on where that to be a problem. I don't think. I'm gonna follow you on Twitch before I forget. Sorry, what? Someone follow you on Twitch before I forget. You said that way too fast again. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna follow you on Twitch before I forget. Oh, perfect. I appreciate it. Follow me on YouTube as well. <laughs> All right. Twitch has become like I still stream. 
on Twitch a lot, but it's become more of like, you know, kind of a background thing. YouTube has been way more uh, consistent because I I edit videos a lot and I have an editor who puts up videos a lot. See, I just hate editing. <laughs> it takes time. It takes effort. And sometimes when you're yeah. tired, it's just like, oh, it's, the, the will is not there. But it's definitely I, uh, there. Yeah, I spent like five hours editing a five minute video for Hal. And I was like, I, I'm glad I did it, but I don't want to do it again. Keep on doing it, man. It's well worth it. Especially because it's like a good way to like document your uh, character story too. It's like two ways. That's true. All right, I'm getting in. I'll if I get booted, I'll, I'll come back. I'm sure. <laughs> See you. Mm -hmm. Take care, Bye buddy. How you doing, Beluga Bay? Welcome back in, Muzzy. It's good to see you again as usual. Muzzy, Muzzy, Muzzy. We're getting updated right now. Oh, so we're connecting. I don't know what happened. Games. People reconnect for Oh wow, you startled me, Mr. Frank. Oh, I didn't realize you were there. Well, it seemed like you was uh lost in thought for a while and didn't want to disturb you. Well, uh, I was just watching the rain outside, thinking about my life and how how uh, it's nice being alive.
Zoe may end up making her way back in. I haven't seen her since I've uh, come to play piano with you. Oh, I, I think she was down at the telegram station a little bit ago. Oh, okay, but she's up and walking around, I mean. Uh, well, that was about maybe five minutes ago or so. Okay, yeah, I'll assume she's okay. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, she, um, after she went down, there was a bit of a headache situation about getting her up, so I wasn't sure if she managed. Uh, yeah, yeah, she was up and walking. Oh, okay, thank God. All right. I'll just go get a review about the punch. Mm. Well, that was mighty fine piano playing there. I've always talented. had a uh, interest in performing for folks and uh, entertaining, so naturally I, I picked up the skill. Yeah. I hope you will find it uh, kind of the hearts to tip a uh, well-versed piano player as well. I think the piano is probably my favorite instrument to listen to. What's up, uh, Izuki Midoriya? That's a, is that blood on your shirt? Oh. Um, uh, I, it does taste like hmm. blood. Okay. Yeah, ma'am, maybe I can give you. Well, you're working at Birch's shop or something. Yeah, do you want me to reach out to you? Okay, perfect. Oh, no, no. I just want to know if you want to stand next to the clothes near yeah, your food. Yeah, that's strange. Yeah, give me just a moment. And, and how much is that going to be? Two dollars for the studio. Not that much. Oh yeah, that, that's mighty fine. <laughs> All right, thank 
Thank you kindly. Uh, how long? Uh, how long have you been working out this way? Oh, uh, about a week now. I've been working here at the bar. Uh, um, sir, sir, can I? Can I? You want a doctor? A do well, uh, no. Is, is, do you just have a red I shirt that's got wet, or? I I just find this shirt on the train, Master. I couldn't tell you. Oh, well, it definitely looks like you might be suffering there, kind of. I'm perfectly fine, all right? Oh, okay. It kind of looks like anything. it's uh, meant to be a leather shirt, but uh, it's peeling away or something. I, I mean, I was fine as capers, I, you know. Oh, well, can I get you something to eat or drink, sir? Hey, uh, give me a, you got any Jameson? Uh, what, what now? A Jameson. A, a Jameson? A Irish whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Irish whiskey? Yeah, I got that. I. Well, why, why didn't you say so? I did say so? What do you mean? Oh. Well, it didn't sound like it. I, I, I don't know what I didn't say, right, to be honest with you. Well, I, I, I do Irish whiskey, I mean, how hard is you know, that I to say? Just, uh, uh, so, Alright, well, I, I've never had any whiskey that wasn't Irish. Oh, really? Well, we got a Scottish whiskey and a Tennessee whiskey and a whiskey whiskey. And, and that's two dollars. Uh, oh, I'll buy us a drink. Did you, uh, oh. how, how long ago did you get off the uh, train there, friend? Good couple hours, actually. Yeah. You know, you know what I, what I have a, I have a, I have a, fuck me, he looks like he's having a good time. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's one of the regulars. I think he does this a lot. Oh, pardon me, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta get on out of here. I gotta make sure the theater's running. So, if you wanna see a movie, I'll be over there. Okay, okay, Frank. That noise. That was a weird ass noise over there.
All right, guys, we're going to take a break from the stream. I got some things I need to do for uh, work tomorrow. So it's been a good short stream. Uh, take care. Catch you guys later.